hi welcome back to my channel so i'm feeling for some fruits oh my god i've been craving mangoes for the longest time i finally got one i just washed and peeled it so now i'm gonna cut my mangoes but i'm using mangoes apples i have a watermelon and i also have a cantaloupe so let's get right into it I've been craving new mango for a long while. I hope it's sweet. You know, you can't get the Jamaican mango, so guess where you have to go? Work with what you get. So, this is me working with what I got, okay? Yes. That one, this mango I think is from King Swoopers. Yeah. So I just cut the mangoes. Now I'm going in with the apples. I'm not an apple lover, and for those who are not apple lover like myself, I don't know how you like your apples. I washed mine with the warm water first to remove the waxy outer appearance of the apple. Yes, if you don't want to do that. I suggest you peel the skin. If you are a person like me who don't like the skin, you can peel the skin off to enjoy it. And I normally peel my apple skin by using a potato peeler. Let me show you how I normally do it. Here's my potato peeler. So I'll just gently go in like this. Caucasian do not eat the skin of the apple. So if I'm giving you my apple, Use a potato peel and go all the way in. But this apple, I'm not so liking the color. I don't know what is this. Look at it. I don't know what are those. So, yeah. Person may say, okay, you always see what apple, yeah. Come in and eat them black looking something. There. I know I don't want it, so therefore, no, make no sense in cutting it because I'm not going to eat it. So, I have to remove all of those. So my apples are done. I'm gonna wash my big old watermelon. Oh, come here, big boy. Yeah, so you washed and then you cut. Well, if you're like me, I don't like to cut it when the water is on everything so I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna dry it first. Alright. So I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna take a piece. I'm not sure if it's sweet. It's not gonna be watermelon. People me talk by a big watermelon now, cause they know my shelf life. I saw a trick uh, or a DIY app that you can put the garlic in the middle of it after cutting to keep it fresh. Woo! Wow, look at the color, look pink and nice. Let's hope it tastes as it looks. Yes. So again, this piece that I cut already, I'm gonna slice it again. Now I'm gonna cut it in. A few bites, guys. It's not all the milk I'm gonna be eating once, so therefore I can't cut up everything once. No, so I'm gonna use my clean wrap, right, to go in and wrap it. My place is looking like it's looking smaller. Let me taste it. It's sweet. It is indeed sweet. Cut the color again. Mmm. Juicy. Yeah, nice, nice watermelon. This is. 
I think I'm steering away from the cantaloupe today. I'm not feeling so cantaloupish anymore. <laughs> At first I wanted it, but now I'm not feeling cantaloupish. So here you have it. I have my watermelon. I have my mango and my apple. And this is my pretty watermelon. I'm not gonna cut the cantaloupe. So I'm gonna add some salt and black pepper and maybe some cayenne pepper to my, you know, to make my mango nice and nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So thank you guys. So watch me add a little cayenne pepper. And a little salt, not a lot. Remember, I'm not a salt lover, people. I'm going it with my better part black pepper. Yeah, I season my mango because the mango them are nice up here. Then the nice, but I just eat my mango regular. So here you have it.